Hello everyone, this is Opster Gaming here. Today I will be doing a full in-depth explanation of all the heroes in Clash of Lords 2. Um, usually I'd make a massive presentation which takes months to make and then um, present it in about seven parts. Today I'm going to use what I've already made, which also took me about a month, one or a month or more months, I don't know, a long time really, on my Ops the Gaming YouTube wiki. If you want to actually read this information yourself, please feel free to visit my wiki and read it. But I will be doing this in parts, probably not as many parts, but you never know. <laughs> yes guys, um, I'm going to be doing this video in parts as there is a lot of heroes. But I'm going to be starting by just going down. So starting off with the newest hero in the game, Shooting Star. Um, as you can see, we've got all these here. It's also farming, so I can't read all of it. But Shooting Star is a ground epic long range hero. It is a hero type hero leader. So he's a hero leader. The type of hero it is is a leader. Sorry. The mercenaries are arrows, archers. Active skill is burning bullet, so the active skill is burning bullet. <laughs> Passive skills, you can't click chair. <laughs> skill help, wild league. Heroic improvement available, enlightenment available. I'm just going to warn you guys that some of this is in foreign as I'd translate it, so if some of the burden doesn't make sense and stuff like that, that's why. Right. Mm. Now, Shooting Star's Enlightenment, I never really have to read this because it's the exact same as every hero. But I'm going to read it once and I won't read it again in any of the other heroes. Once the hero reaches the Enlightenment, he finds or she finds a new look and opens a new set of updates for their active skills, skills, and skills to aid evolution. It will also unlock a new type of talent, talent called Guilty Pleasure. The level of active skill and. Level of the active skill can be increased as soon as a certain level of enlightenment is obtained. At certain levels of enlightenment, you will be able to choose the bonus of your choice to apply it to your hero. Any bonus not selected last time will be available for selection when reaching the next level of selection. God, man, that is a lot of selection. The order of your bonus selection again is entirely up to you. Total bonus is 8 pieces. These bonuses are available at the following levels of enlightenment. Level 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 23. Hero normal form, hero enlightened. I generally think for once finally it looks better enlightened. I do not have a lot of effort for that. Um, Enlightenment is Lorrainian drop, or is 10, Musion, or is 2000. Lorrainian is ancient spirits, if you watched my previous video, you know. Characteristics, blah blah blah, you get this as you go along, if you want to read that, you can translate it. And now that is the first hero, I should have a back button now, I have edited this properly, alright. Next hero is Morpho. Oh, there we go. So now we're going to be on to the hero Nightmare Morpho. Nightmare Morpho is an air epic long range hero. It's a hero leader once again. The mercenaries are riches. Active skill is Nightmare, Nightmare Mor Morpho. Passive skill, sure you can't show them, sorry guys, never is. Skill help, Nightmare Dream. Heroic improvement available and Enlightenment is available. And we're not going to read as I said, Lamanian, no, we're not going to read that there's the hero in normal form, that is hero in uh, e enlightened form, I said. Enlightened form, I prefer that form, it's so much better than that, it's ugly, that is, and that's much better. Very good, the previous button makes this time. That's how it's on this time. Chaos Ember! Causing some chaos in the Call 2 community. Hero Chaos Ember. Chaos is a ground epic long range hero. He is a hero leader. His mercenaries are warriors. Active skill is combo. Reminds me of the film This Is England. Combo. Um, health skill, chaos pack. 
Heroic improvement available and enlightenment is available. Normal form, enlightened form is not available. Should be, but I haven't done it for some reason. Need to get that sorted out. Next hero, as I said, because you might have heroes and how quick I'm probably going to get through them, I ain't going to get through them as quick as I usually would, but I will get through them decent speed. And assuming you guys might find it more useful if I generally went through the in game heroes just one by one, there's more information on the age skills and stuff. But I decided not to do that because, well, I want to be able to speak after this video. <laughs> Whereas if I read everything on all the heroes, I fear that I might not have any voice left. So I decided let's go basic and talk about this one. And then also, I wanted to do this really, just to like show off with Ricky really, show you guys it's useful, it's got stuff on it which is um, useful too. So next hero is Chrono Keeper, is he still the best hero in the game? I can't answer. Timekeeper, Chrono Keeper. Ground, epic long range hero. He's a hero leader again. The mercenaries are magician. Active skills, magic circle. Help skill is supply magic, hero improvement available and light available. And that is him enlightened. The new update video is there. Where there, my videos. All of my videos in here, of course. Here. And now I've got a Chrono Keeper hero review as well. So if you do want to learn more about the hero, hero and um, sit in action and stuff in different game modes, look up my reviews and see what I've got. I don't have a review for every hero. Um, specifically, I'd say definitely not the latest three. Definitely not the latest two, that's for sure. Not sure if I've got a Chrono Keeper. Is I a Chaos Ember one or not? I don't think so, but I may have. You'd have to look. But I do have a Chrono Keeper Hero review right there that you can watch. I have a new Hero Chrono Keeper gameplay and review. That came out a day or so after the release of the update with the new Hero Chrono Keeper. So, old gameplay, but it still might be helpful for you guys to see it. And the update video for you guys who are interested in seeing what your old updates were. Um, if you're interested in seeing your old updates, if you go under videos, you can clash all to updates. It will load up YouTube after YouTube Premium. And you've got all of the updates here. Not every single one ever, but all the ones that I made videos on, which is still going up. Video. I made videos on the latest ones really. I think I made at least one. Um, now. Arachne. Arachne, a ground epic hero of long range combat. Again, there's a hero leader, so every hero is a hero leader. Mercenaries are archers. After skills, destiny network. Help skills, neuro, neurotoxin. Heroic improvement available and enlightenment available. And that's pretty empty if you reveal that then. And Arachne. You might find there's more information on the new heroes because I. Whenever I made these pages, when I started making like ones of 43 heroes all at the same time, it's like old heroes and stuff. So I kind of rushed them and didn't add extra information. But you might notice that under the very newest heroes that came out, they would have been made just on their own like once the update came out. So I added more information. There's information on. Pyro is an air epic hero of long range. Hero type is a hero aggressor. Oh my god, I can't believe that we don't have a leader. Mercenaries are mega dragons, so you know what that means. It's basically the dragons. Active skill cleansing, passive skills, don't show. Help skill, guardian angel. Heroic improvement is available and enlightenment is available. I've also got a best hero setups for Pyro. So if you want to see that, what are the best hero setups? Best hero setups for Pyro. Why did I put a he best hero setups for Pyro as a flipping uh, thumbnail? It's not even that, it's best. It's Pyro hero review. 
perhaps what I meant by that would have been, yeah, it probably would have been um, the best setup rather than like, eight heroes and weapons and stuff for each game mode using Pyro. Probably not. And now on to the next video, Officer Reindeer. Officer Reindeer is an epic ground hero of long range combat. He is a hero leader, no. Accurate arrows at archers, maybe? I think so. There's no, he's magic shot exactly skill. Hero skill is killer of conscripts. Heroic improvement and alignment are available. Officer Reindeer. I might add more information on these heroes over time and add my videos under them over time. But for now, I'm not going to be doing that yet. I'm going to do 10 heroes in this video. Hero Exafan. Exafan is an epic ground hero of long range combat. Hero type hero leader again. Mercenary Spirit of Lava. Active, active skills Fire Hurricane. Passive skills don't show. Help skill Pyronamic. And heroic improvement and enlightenment are available. That's X Fun Enlightened. Heroes costume. If a costume can be obtained by participating in promotions, it is Flames of Vengeance, bonus suit, basic health called demons, minus eight percent. Basic attack of called demons is minus forty percent. So you see yeah, the costume in there. There's a few costumes in which I haven't yet added yet for some of the heroes. Specifically, um, Ones which I've already probably just missed, gone over, but I'm gonna add them after this video, ready for the part two. So, Exafan Hero Review, I've also got a Hero Review for Exafan, let's check out that one if you want to. Um, how many did I say 10 did I? That is 8, 9, X, number 9, Tidal Guardian. Tidal Guardian is an epic ground hero of melee. Melee show, melee attack. Hero type, hero protection. Mercenaries are the executioners. Active skill is storm. Passive skills don't show. Help skill, salt wind. Heroic improvement is available. And enlightenment should be available. So in there, enlightenment is available, I'm sure of it. Hero costume. If the costume can be obtained by participating in promotions or the costume shop, most likely. So that is the hero costume. Costume name for Bushido Warrior. Basic hero health 100%, basic hero attack minus 20%. Huh. Nah. Nah, basic hero attack 20%. So basic plus 20%. I was going to say that minus 20%. That's the reason why I came up here. I get it. And I'm now in Mistress. In Mistress is an epic ground hero of long range combat, a lot of them are. Hero type is evil, you don't know. Mercenaries and magicians. Active skill, treaty with a demon. Help skill, neglect. Hero improvement and enlightenment are available. That's in Mistress Enlightened. Hero costume can be obtained by promotions. Uh, the costume name is Ghost Admiral. Bonus costume, basic health of the called demons or in mistress 100% so plus 100% and basic attack of the in mistress is plus 20% now I'm gonna leave this part here then guys and um, part 2 should be coming out next week and um, don't go by that date um, and we will be starting off with Pemphysilium in that one so I hope you guys enjoy I hope it's some kind of useful Maybe just a refreshing to your memory of what type of hero it is, what mercenaries are. And sometimes it's just them little basic things about the heroes that you just really need to just know off by heart, really. So hopefully you guys can um, get practice and learn from this. If you do want to check this out yourself, just go search up on Google Opster Game and YouTube Ricky. Go on the Ricky and go to the Clash Wars 2 Heroes page and it's all on there. So I hope it's helpful. Make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely have a bell icon for more culture content. For now, peace. Out.